I'm Amanda, and these are the 20 food prep basics all organic agricultural trainees should know. Not only will knowing these steps help you in the kitchen when you create delicious plant-based foods, but they are going to transform the lives of the individuals you help when you share what you've learned from Organics for Orphans with other communities. Shall we get started? Now you're going to learn how to make a delicious green smoothie. The first step to making a green smoothie is to have a base of fruit. About 40% fruit and about 60% greens is optimal, and it's what Organics for Orphans teaches all of its organic agricultural trainees. When you're making a green smoothie at home, a good recipe to follow would be two bananas, three mangoes, two handfuls of greens, and enough water to blend it very easily. Sometimes I add fresh mint and lime juice because that makes it even tastier than you'd think. So there's one banana. I'm going to de-stem the different greens that we pulled from our garden. So we have sukuma wiki, or we have sukuma, so we have kale, and we have fresh spinach, or chard. In total, we're going to have about two big handfuls, or two cups, of fresh greens. One of the reasons green smoothies are so amazing is because it allows us to get more nutrition from one of the most nutritious foods on the planet, greens, in a really tasty and easy way. When you blend up the greens and you blend up the fruit, not only are you making it in a very easy to take form, you're making it easier to digest. Digestion begins in the mouth, but when you break it all up in a blender, it makes it even easier on our digestive system. Of course, remember that just because it's broken up, you still need to chew. Use the teeth God gave you. So we have a combination of kale and spinach. The reason we take out the stems for this smoothie is because the stems have a lot of fiber and they're really rough. And sometimes that can make the green smoothie a bit too bitter. So we're gonna keep it mainly greens. Now, using the fruit salad that we had before, like I mentioned, we're just going to add some of this to the blender. If you haven't made a fruit salad, which you probably haven't, to make a green smoothie, just use whatever fresh fruit you have around you. Next, we're going to be adding some fresh spring water or at least filtered water from your well. Like I mentioned when we did the Vitamix protocol video, it's really important that you try to keep whatever you blend more liquidy than too thick. So, if you need more water, just stop the blender, add it so it blends really easily, and then go to work once again. And, as I mentioned, one of my favorite additions is fresh mint. So we're going to add a little bit of that in there. Mint is great for benefiting digestion. It also has healthy oils to keep your mind sharp and fresh. As you can see, this is a very nice, creamy, and super green smoothie. Before you serve it to anyone, make sure you try a little bit, because if it's bad, then you're going to turn people off green smoothies forever. There needs to be a good balance of sweet and green. We don't want it to be too sweet, but we want it to have a nice flavor from the greens and the fruit together. That's delicious, and I'm pretty sure everyone here is going to agree. When you start making green smoothies, share them with everyone around you because this is one of the best ways to help other people transform their health.